Hey guys, this is Kimmy the Messy Soaper at Royal Appleberry, and today I am cutting my custom order black raspberry vanilla. So, this has been sitting for about three days outside of the mold just because, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to unpack and work and get situated from uh, the aftermath of the craft fair. And uh, just to tell you guys, that craft fair, wow. It was absolutely amazing. It really was. I mean, I just, I was blown away. I sold over $500 in soaps, which was crazy, you know, but have high expectations for yourself. That's just always the way to go. You know, I went in with the mindset saying, you know what, I'm going to sell $700 worth of soap. So $500, that's nothing to be disappointed about at all. And plus, you know, I got, um, my, <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. I'm choking on nothing. I got my business cards out there. I got um, new customers. You know, I even have one custom order. So, you know, I just had a blast. But let me tell you guys. Woo. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love those swirls most definitely. I need to tighten my arm on my cutter because I see it's kind of cutting kind of wonky there. But this smells Oh, that smells delicious, and it is super duper pretty. So, guys, let me adjust the arm on this. Uh, well, let me try one more cut. It is kind of loose, but I probably should just go ahead and adjust it. I don't know where my tool bag is at. Ooh. Yeah, let me try one more cut, and if it's still crooked, then I need to go get uh, my tool so I can tighten this. But I love the way this looks. I really do. I was kind of concerned because I used more purple than I wanted to. But it works. It does work. This is really, really cute. So I'm super happy with the way it looks. But, yeah, craft fairs, guys, they are no joke, okay? Absolutely no joke. Okay, we're good. Um, I felt like I had been run over by a train after the craft fair. <laughs> and it's just hustle and bustle the entire time that you're uh, there, you know. Um, just a couple of tips for those of you who plan to do them. Um, the number one thing is just, you know, be yourself and be approachable because the reason why I'm bringing that up, there was a girl next to me and she had some wax bears and they were super cute and she had some other uh, aromatic products and beautiful, but she stood there with her arms folded with this sourpuss look on her face the entire craft fair and she was selling them for $20 a piece, but I mean, the way she was looking, it kind of made you afraid to go to her table. So, nobody really approached her. She sold two. That is super duper. Love it. And yeah, guys, I'm going to take a break so I can tighten this arm because I got another weird cut there. And I don't like that. So, I'll be right back and I'll continue my story about my craft fair. Yeah, okay, right, guys. I'm back and we are golden. But, um, yeah, this soap is just like way too stinking cute. I love it. The, per the colors are just absolutely perfect, I think. Because I was just like, eh, I don't know. I should have made, you know, the purple base. And which I honestly did not mean to pour that much purple. But wasn't thinking. But I think this is just absolutely adorable together. Don't you guys think? And I love that top. And again, all thanks goes to Gaby for making all these berries for me. Thanks, Gaby. You are such a doll. Hugs and kisses. Love you, buddy. Um... Uh, yeah, I think I might do a separate a separate video, just kind of like another uh, random talk video um, about craft fairs and just other things about soap soap related. But um, also, guys, I forgot to tell you, I'm actually in um, the city that we did the craft fair in. I made it into their paper. <laughs> How cool is that? Um, as soon as my mom and I, because like. When we first got there, it was just hustle and bustle, and there was some spills of coffee and just things that I'm just like, oh, goodness gracious, Lord, help me. Um, there were customers actually around me shopping, and I wasn't, I still wasn't set up. That is beautiful, guys. Absolutely. I'm glad I waited to cut this because it's much firmer, but those swirls are just, ooh, look at that. Get a camera full. But, um... Yeah, I had customers swirling around me shopping. I'm like, oh my goodness. So, as soon as we got set up and I was happily, you know, very happy with everything, the way it was all displayed, um, there was a photographer that came up and said, you know, he's from the Troy paper and he wanted us to grab some of my products and pose. And I'll put those pictures in this video. Um...
Hey guys, this is my craft fair. So I just wanted to show you quickly. I have one table completely empty. That's my mom. And this is the table that I have left. We have one more hour to go and I have been doing amazing. So I'm so super duper happy. But it turned out really, really nice, guys. So that's it. Hello. You need to move after sitting on the I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And I bought a really cool hat too. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. I'll see you later. Bye. Pose so he can put it in the paper. So he did two shots, and both of the shots made it into the paper. I'm just like, yay! So it was like super duper cool. Um, I totally wasn't expecting that, and I got so many compliments, even from people who didn't buy. They just like, you know, your display is amazing, your packaging is amazing, just everything looks so professional. And I am a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, for those of you who know, uh, who have bought soaps for me, you can, you know. You can tell the way I package my soap. I do care about the way they look. I'm not just going to slap it in just a wrapper and ship it off to you. I just can't do that. And although I keep my, my labels, my cigar band is pretty basic as far as the black and white print. And I'm pretty sure I'll always stay that way just because I like the look of it. But, um, you know, I try to keep it as professional as possible. And I got so many compliments on that. But back to the girl that was next to me, you know, she could have done really, really well if she would just have unfolded her arms and greeted her customer. Greeting your customers is like the number one thing to do. Oh, that's pretty. That is like super. So stinking awesome. I love the way that looks. But, um, you know, even people who weren't stopping at my tables, if they just passed by, you know, I'd ask them, you know, how you doing? How's it going? Or just say hello. Um, it took me 45 minutes to eat a sandwich just because every time a customer will walk by my table or walk up to my table, if I was about to take a bite, I put it down because one thing I never want to do is to be talking to a customer with my mouth full of uh, food. That's kind of gross. You know, um, every time someone came to my table, I made sure I stood up and stood next to them. So I was always available if they needed me. And even the times where I had multiple customers, I still kind of just bounced from one to the other and gave everybody my attention. My mom went and helped me. She she did an amazing job you know she did all my packaging you know put them in, in bags and I gave away free gift boxes if you bought so many soaps and uh, she handled all the money so uh, she was a great great help if you do do a, a craft fair make sure you have somebody help you because it just makes life so much easier when you actually have help there those are beautiful and also um, I got $271 in credit card uh, so please also make sure that you have I said I was going to do a separate video and pretty much tell you everything now but yeah make sure you have like a, 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 um, what is it, a square or PayPal credit card reader because it's going to come in handy I'm telling you people were whipping out credit cards left and right so um, just all in all the craft fair was a great success um, and I was in the small gym so imagine if I was in the big gym uh, how well I could have done. I probably wouldn't have brought back any soaps with me and that would have been most stellar. So I plan to do that next year. I'm going to do this every year from now on because it was so amazing and I just the experience was great and all of the stress and the headache and being dog tired because I work like 16 hours every single day because uh, thank, thank God I was uh, on vacation but I work 16 hours every single day in my soap business uh getting getting everything prepared making sure everything was perfect you know for me the way i want to see things and it all paid off so guys um i know i talked a lot about my the craft fair but i want to share that with you all but you did get to see this gorgeous gorgeous soap i am so very very happy with the way these turned out they are like super stinking cute those swirls are just love absolutely and the colors came out beautiful so guys if you like this video and this soap and my tips that i gave you about craft fairs i probably still will do a separate video because i want to add a couple other things in there about soap the soap making business please do give a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please be sure to watch the um the making video of this soap because i always post the making and a cutting and every blue moon i'll post um the cutting on the end of the making or in the rare case that one time it's happened where my footage got lost for cutting I always post pictures so yeah please do subscribe if you're new to my channel that would be greatly appreciated I would love to see you come back here over and over again guys so that is it and also you know I can never forget my stinking awesome crew you guys are so much love love you bits you know that but I'm gonna get my buns out of here I just came home from work um, today my day job I actually work like ooh, about 
10 and a half hours just because I was late to work. So I didn't make up those hours. <laughs> I'm still trying to recuperate from uh, the craft fair, which was last week. But anyway, guys, that's it for now. Love and kisses and hugs and be awesome in everything that you do. This is Kenny the Messy Soper over at Royal Appleberry. And I love you. Remember that. Okay, guys? Until next time. Bye.